All right, welcome to the part two of section one, two. Um, I just took off my tie. It's really um, warm in here, so I hope that doesn't um, affect your learning ability, of course, but we will continue. So we've learned about points, lines, and planes some already, and now let's talk about some ways that they, they work together. A couple of terms that we need to know. The first one, collinear. Collinear points are points in the same line. Co, like co-chair, they're your chairs, uh, chair with. Uh, they're in the same line with, uh, uh, they, they share a line. That's what that means. So what is non-collinear points? Uh, well, it means they're not in the same line. You probably could have figured that one out. So um, here we're going to do these exercises down here. We're going to plot this series of points and talk about whether they are collinear or not. So when I plot the points uh, 2, 1, 4, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, here they are. The question is, are they collinear? And, um, well, I'm going to let you try to figure that out first. Go ahead and plot uh, the points. Uh, here they are for B. Here's negative 2, 5. Here's 0, negative 2, 3, negative 1. Go ahead and plot all of the points here. Um, pause the video if you're so that you can do that, and then we'll talk about whether they are collinear or not. All right, so there is there are all the points uh, plotted. So are they collinear? What did you say? Um, a appears to be collinear, um, and a way that we can tell is you, there's kind of, you could just kind of tell that they kind of stair steps, hopefully maybe a little bit, but a line definitely goes through all those points. Um, so yes, those are collinear. Um, question B, they're definitely um, not collinear. Question C, I, hopefully you can see they are on the same line. Actually, uh, the line on uh, where x is equal to 6, do you see that? That's the, the, and the, the, but what I wanted you to start thinking about is the slope. How do you know that these are collinear? Um, the slope going from here to here, the rise and the run, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. The slope between those two, those three points is always one. The slope over here is undefined. Um, so see if that helps you to figure out whether D, E, and F are collinear or not. This one goes up one over six, up one over seven. It looks like it could be collinear, but they're not. Uh, they they are not on the same line because, or they're not. On, yeah, they're not on the same line because they don't share the same slope. Uh, question E: Up five over three. Up five over three. Yes, they are collinear. In order to be collinear, uh, lines have to form um, the same slope, or points have to be on the line with the same slope. Six down six to the right six down five to the right four. Six over six is not equal five over four. So no, those are non-collinear. So a uh, obviously, uh, just if lines are on the same line, then they're collinear. But when we're talking about on a coordinate plane, um, in order to be on the same line, they have to have the same slope. Okay. Um, some other terms: coplanar points are points in the same plane, just like same line. Um, what about and uh, non-coplanar points are ones not in the same plane. So, how do we represent a plane? Well, we talked about how we can draw um, a um, quadrilateral parallelogram and points A, B, C, and D are in the same plane. And when we're drawing them, as long as we draw any point inside of our quadrilateral, we are representing points that are in that plane. So point E, point F, point X are all in the same, uh, in this plane A, B, C, D. To draw one out, well, you would draw it just outside of it. Um, it's much easier to talk about non-coplanar points not on a piece of paper, but if we're talking about a piece of paper, which is a, which is by definition a two-dimensional two thing, um, we have to represent it somehow. Okay. Um, the intersection of two figures. Um, well, think. Let's talk about this intersection here. If this is Franklin Road and Old Ricker Boulevard, I think if I said let's go to the intersection of Old Ricker Boulevard and Franklin Road, you would know where to go. What is the intersection? The intersection is where the two roads overlap. It's the shared part of the road. And that's exactly what intersection will also be in geometry. The intersection of two figures is the set of points that are in both figures. Um, they're shared points, overlap points. But we're, so when we talk about this term um, intersection, we're talking about the part that they share, the part that they overlap. These are the points um, 
the intersection of Franklin Road and Oka Boulevard are the points, the, the concrete in the middle, that are on both roads. Um, some other words that we'll use for intersection are the words in, on, and contains. Um, this point is in Franklin Road. It's in Old Oka Boulevard. This point is, uh, this Franklin Road contains this point as well does Old Oka Boulevard. So they, they are shared. Uh, if two lines intersect, then they have to intersect at exactly one point. If, if they intersect, their intersection is a point. Okay? If two planes intersect, they intersect at one line. Um, we'll here's how we'll draw this. Here is a plane, and here is another plane, and these are the shared points of this. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate how to draw this in class. I'll, I'll teach you how to do it, but that's what it will look like. A line and, an inter and a plane, if they intersect, they intersect at one point, assuming the line is not in the plane. And this is how we'll draw this. The, well, the dotted line like this is like it's going through. It's, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about with this in class as well. But um, that's how we can do it. Okay? So this diagram, we have this plane in. That there's the, the name of it there. Plane in go, uh, goes this direction, plane M goes this direction, and then we have some lines. We have line AB or AZ. Those three points, A, B, and Z, are definitely contained by that line. We have this line over here, FE. Um, then we have this line CZ and, or CD. Uh, those three points are in it. From that, all of these statements here can be said. They are true about that diagram. Point Z is on line AB, okay? Um, Line AB contains Z. Those are two different ways of saying uh, the same thing. Uh, this point Z and line AB are shared. As well as uh, line AB passes through Z. All three of those are ways of saying the same thing. There is point Z. It is in that line. Line AB and line CD intersect at Z. Do you see how this point is the point of intersection of those two lines? And if two lines intersect, they have to be at one point. Um, plane M contains line AB. This one's a little tricky at first, but plane M is here. Plane A is in this uh, plane, as well as, as point, I'm sorry, I think I said plane A. Point A and point B are both um, uh, in plane M, so therefore the line that contains that, uh, those two points is also in plane M. Here is an example of the line that is not in the plane. Here is a line that is in the plane. Uh, where these two planes um, intersect, plane M and plane N intersect at this line. Plane, point F is in both planes, point E is in both planes, so therefore the line that connects them is in both planes as well. All right. Um, so here's what I'd like for you to do. I know this is kind of tricky at first, but we're going to, I want you to try it. We're using true or false, see if you can uh, use this diagram over here to answer these questions. And just do your best to see if it makes sense. We'll discuss all this stuff in class. If you didn't pause the video yet, you absolutely should have. These are the answers. I bet you have some, a few questions we'll discuss. See if you can do the same thing with uh, the next set of questions. See if you can answer them. Those are the answers. Um, we'll talk about these sketches in class as well. Do the best you can with that. Um, but there's lots of different ways, actually, that you can do it. I'll be teaching you it. So there you go. Um, Get some rest. We got a lot of stuff going on as we continue. Okay, bye.